so you just develop your first ai application using cursor windsurf or cloud code or maybe using bold.new or using liveable.dev and now it's time to deploy that application now there are a lot of different ways to deploy your application so before you pay for expensive hosting for your ai application you need to watch this video so i've just developed this application which is a complete full stack application which has a fully functional authentication system with complete backend and postgres database using neon.tech and also i'm using various different ai models let me just quickly show you my .env.local file i'll just blur this part just for the sake of privacy but you can see i am using open router api key i'm using this api key from file.ai for image generation then i'm using these google authentication configuration to build authentication system so this is my database url so this is a complete full stack application and in this video i'll show you that how i can deploy this application on cloudways now what is cloudways cloudways is a managed web hosting platform where you can host any sort of web applications now as i mentioned that there are several different ways that you can use to deploy your application you can deploy your application directly on versal or on netlify but if you're expecting too much traffic on your project maybe too many users or maybe let's suppose if your content goes viral and now there are thousands of people who will just suddenly start using your application so in this case platforms like versal and netlify can be really costly and it can cost you maybe up to hundred thousand dollars there is a real example of people spending thousands of dollars on versal just to run a simple application but with platforms like cloudways we can just pay a fixed cost and you won't be charged anything extra and in fact we can start using it for free there is a three days free trial there is no credit card required and also just for you guys i partner with them and got more discount from them and now you can just use my promo code to get 20 percent off for the first three months on cloudways so let's just quickly dive deep and let me just quickly show you that how you can deploy your project easily using cloudways all right so to start using cloudways just go to cloudways.com or just click on the link in description and after that simply just click on try for free and now you can just start using cloudways absolutely for free once you have signed up next thing that you need to do you need to create a server so you can just go to my server section so this is your dashboard as soon as you will be logged in so this is the dashboard that you'll see and in here you can find your my applications and my servers so just go to my server section and now you can see i have already created one server so what you can do you can simply click on this add server button and now you can just like choose select application from here you can just choose your custom app from this top down just choose custom app and it will have this php logo but just like choose custom app and now you can just yeah give this server a name sorry this is application name so i'll just give it app 2 and give the server name of server 2 so that's it and now next thing is you can choose any of the options from here but i think the best one and the cheapest one in here is digital ocean so you can just like stick with digital ocean and now you can just choose your location maybe and in my case my location is london so i'll just choose london and now you can simply just click on launch now and your server will be launched i have already created a server so i'll just not create a new one but you can simply just click on this launch now button and your server will be started also here you can see the specs so the ram for this server will be 4 gbs disk will be 80 gbs cpu will be two core processor and bandwidth will be four terabytes which is more than enough for you to like even if your app goes viral you can still handle a lot of traffic like millions of users you can easily handle in this bandwidth so either you can pay the hourly cost or you can pay the monthly cost which is 54 dollars per month for this server if you want a reliable server solution so i think this cost is not that much so once you do that now it will automatically create an application for you which will be app 2 but if you want to create multiple applications so what is an application application is literally your application that you are going to host on this server so here you can easily just click on this add application you can see i already have two different two separate applications in here so i can simply just click on this add application button and now i can just like choose my server i'll just choose this particular server now i can simply just click on add application and now i can just choose custom app and give this app a name i just give this name app 2 and now i can simply just click on application and now it will create an application for me which will be app 2 so now you can see it is setting up this application it will take around two minutes so let's just wait for it to set up everything for us meanwhile what you need to do you need to upload your project source code on github so just go to github.com then just create a new repository in here just give this repository a name i'll just give this a sample name i don't know just like triple seven and then i'll simply just 
click on i'll just keep this private so click on create repository and now this is the repository on github that you have just created now we can just like push your code on this github repository once your code is pushed in here on github if you have never done that before you can just like open this terminal inside your project and here you can just run these commands one by one just get in it and then get add readme just run all of these commands one by one you need to run one extra command in here which is git add and instead of adding this readme just add a simple dot and then press enter so then what it will do it will just like add all of your it will basically stage all of the, your source code for commit so that's that's what it'll do so this is just topic for a separate video but yeah i mean if you have never done that on github so make sure that you learn that so once your code is pushed on github now what you can do you can just like go back to cloudways and here you can see our application is ready in here i think app 2 app 2 is ready and now what you can do next thing next thing is you can simply just click on this deployment via git simply just click on this and now what you can do you can simply just click on this generate ssh key there are a lot of other features that we are going to talk in detail later on like staging management then there is ssl certificate we are going to talk about that in a minute but for now let me just click on generate ssh key and now what it will do it will just create an ssh key for us so you can simply just click on this view ssh key and now you can just copy this ssh key and just go back to github and here you can just go to the settings inside your profile simply just click on settings and now you can just go to this ssh and gpg keys simply just click on that and then just paste this ssh key in here inside github and now you can just like click on add ssh key just give it any and now your ssh key has been added in here once you have done that next step is to provide your kit remote address so let me just go back to my github repository you can see this is my github repository and now you can just simply inside this drop down of code i can simply just click on that and in this ssh section simply just click on that and now you can just copy this url and now you can just paste that url in here simply just click on authenticate and now it will authenticate this url it will authenticate your github repository you can see right now it has been authenticated now it will just fetch all of the branches of this project which is right now one only which is master so you can just like click on here and then click on master branch and now you can simply just click on this start deployment let me just click on that and now what it will do it will automatically start the deployment of our project this is as simple as it can be and i can see the repository has been cloned already so by the time it will deploy your project what we can do i'm just going to show you another a key step so what you can do you can just like go to your server section so just go to my servers and now what you can do you can just go to your server from here and in here you can just simply click on this launch ssh terminal simply just click on this what it will do it will open your ssh terminal your server's ssh terminal directly inside your browser we need to manage few things in there so that's why it's really really important for you to log into your ssh terminal so in here you can just like provide your username so here you can find your credentials simply just copy this username from here and then you can just paste that username simply just right click paste from browser it can be a bit tricky if you're using it for the first time if you have never used this kind of like web-based ssh terminal so it can be a bit tricky for you to add these credentials so it simply just press enter and now you need to provide your password so your password is in here but the problem is sometimes whenever i just copy it from here it just does not work so i'll have to now like paste that that password in there one by one all right so right now you can see i am logged in and now what i can do i can just run this command clear just to clear i can just run this pwt just run this and now i can just run ls to just see what i have inside my server so i have these applications i can just run cd applications to just see what applications i have so in total there should be three applications so ls and you can see i have got total three applications in here there is this application there is this application and then there is this application now let's just go to i think this is the third application that we have right now so cd v z a v j f r u j z so i'll just i'm now inside this application and here you can see this application has this content i just need to go inside my public html so i can simply just go to public underscore sorry 
cd public underscore html press enter and now let me just quickly have a look what's in there so it has got all of the content of my project you can see this is the public source folder you can see this is readme.md file this is assets file this is index.html file index.php.ba key file the node modules all of the node modules are in here that means our all of the dependencies are installed in case your dependencies are not installed what you can do you can just run this command which is npm install you can just run this command and what it will do it will just install all of your dependencies you can see in here inside this node modules folder so these are all of your dependencies all of your packages for this project to run so it will just install all of those packages inside your project so now apparently everything is ready now let me just go back let me just check my application and i'll just try to access the application url that it has provided so in here you can see inside this access details there will be a url so this is the url this is the subdomain of cloudwaysapps.com i'll guide you in a minute that how you can connect your domain name as well but majority of your task is done also don't forget to add your environment variables i just skipped that part in here because i did not want to show you my environment variables so let me just quickly open this url and here you can see our project has been deployed so this is the same project that we are running in here let me just open that on local host you can see this is running on localhost 3000 so our project has been deployed now next step is in this domain name is very weird so now you need to connect your own domain name to do that what you can do you can simply just click on this domain management and in here you can just like provide click on this add domain and here you can just provide your domain name so for this project i have a domain name actually so this is my domain name is called mono.ai and i purchased that domain on hostinger.com this is a dot ai domain you can use dot com dot io whatever whatever domain name you have so just use that and after that the most important thing is you need to update your name servers to do that first of all let me just add mono.ai on in here so mono and then i can simply just click on this save changings and now it will just add this domain you can just use your server's public ip as your dns record there is a very detailed blog on cloudways website you can just like go through there and if you need any different sort of dns records maybe you want to add maybe text record or maybe ns record or maybe uh, any different kind of records you can just like follow this guideline from here one more important feature in here is this staging management if you just go to staging management in here and here you can actually click on this launch staging application so you know what it does basically whenever you are testing your application and now let's suppose you just like created something made some changes locally on your computer inside your source code now you just push those changes in on github and now you want to just test those changes not on your live website but you want to like deploy those changings and see if there's any issue while those changings are deployed on your server so you can just like do that inside this staging management we can easily do that by simply just click on this launch staging application and you can enable that in here and once you test your new changings then there will be just a simple push button to push your changings on live so before publishing your changings live on your server on your live website you can just like check that in here test that in here inside this staging management there is another thing which is called ssl certificate you can simply just go there and it will just give you ssl certificate if you do not have that ssl certificate it will just show your website as like not secure just like it is showing in here so you need to simply just install your ssl certificate to make sure that everything is ready production ready so you can simply just choose this option which is let's encrypt and now you can just add your email address and also add your domain name and then simply just click on this install certificate and your ssl certificate will be installed another important feature for your ai application can be backup and restore so using this feature you can easily just take backup anytime let's suppose if i just click on this take backup now so it can just take backup of my application right now so this is how easy and simple it is to deploy your ai application on your own server that you can get on cloudways and this way you won't have to worry about any unexpected cost because you'll be charged only a fixed amount of money every month so just go ahead and give it a try for free and once you're an upgrade just to use my promo code metaverse 20 to get 20 percent discount for next three months if you have any further questions just leave your comments in comment section and i'll see you next video bye bye